Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living or a time worth having. When I begin every audio cast with this, I'm trying to remind people of where their life begins and ends. I'm trying to remind them that life moves very fast. And if you don't plan your life, if you don't have the opportunity to plan your life, or if someone is impeding your life, it makes your plans not work out in the end. There are also people that sort of screw their life. And what I mean is they start to pay attention to someone else's life and they don't pay attention to their own life. They may be hoarders. They may be musicians. They may be teachers. They may be boarders. They may be men. They may be women. They may be children. But in life, we have to learn how to plan a life, how to do that life, and how to assess that life to make sure we're headed where we want to go in life. When people don't listen carefully to the Lord, when they start to be someone who's interested in more hoard, they literally get their jealousies out of whack, they get their stupidities clearly intact, and they don't think about what will happen to their life. A child who plays on someone's phone or computer is obviously mentally unwell because what they're saying to themselves is, I am Lord of all. I am a hacker, I am a black hatter, I am a cybercrime expert, but they're lying to themselves more and more. When we don't tackle these people, when we don't stop these people, they go off to corporations and they embezzle, they smuggle, they give away confidential information, if you know what I mean, and they sell intellectual property, which is a federal offense under the FBI scene. When you take someone's work and try to claim it as your own, it is a federal offense. That means it gets to a higher court, it has more severe penalties, and openly people get pissed off about it, which is why corporations have made it a big deal. Because if it wasn't for their support, we wouldn't have jobs today.